Now let's look at where these veins, the basilic vein and the cephalic vein are draining blood into. This vein right here is called axillary vein. And the axillary vein goes up to the lateral aspect of the first rib. When we reach here, the lateral aspect of the first rib, the axillary vein then turns into the subclavian vein. So you can see that the basilic vein dumps blood into the axillary vein, as well as the cephalic vein dumps blood into the axillary vein. And then this axillary vein takes this blood into the subclavian vein, and then this blood goes into the right brachiocephalic vein, which is the union between the subclavian vein and the internal jugular vein. And it's called right brachiocephalic vein because we are on the right side of the heart. And when the right brachiocephalic vein will get together with the left brachiocephalic vein, they will form the superior vena cava, which delivers blood into the right atrium. So again, the lateral aspect of the first rib is what we are using as our anatomical delimitation to say when the subclavian vein becomes the axillary vein, and also to say when the subclavian artery becomes the axillary artery. Since this is the right side, this is specifically the right subclavian vein, and this is specifically the right subclavian artery.